Greetings once again, fellow girls, guys, and gamers. This is Small Archangel speaking you, to you from a town not too far from the rim of the world, on top of a well-populated Vic Garrison's pawn and low, uh, where I have spent the night in our upward journey. Perfect timing. There we go. All our meat's done. So I'll take our cooking pot. Uh, I don't think we've got anything else in there. And our fuel, we've got still a couple of spaces. We're in perfect health. We've got 100% um, health, 100% uh, hydration. Uh, and I can't remember where the ladder is to get up to the top of this joint. It was at the back, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was at the back. And there was, because there was a bin, actually. There's a wheelie bin somewhere. Oh, it's over here. So we'll jump down on top of this wheelie bin or get down on the ladder. There we go. Okay. Look at this. It's the welcome committee. Let's just, uh, these guys have been driving me crazy all night. The Vic Gar Garrison Paul Lloyd is actually a really interesting prefab anyway. Let me just do this. Oh, look at this. I kind of love these doors as well. I don't make enough use of those in bases. And oh, look at that. Go up into the crawl space. Uh, that's destroyed. Oh, well, we don't need that stuff right now. We don't need that stuff right now, but this is one of my favourite kind of dungeoneering experiences, the Vic Garrison Portal Alone. Uh, who knows, if we make it to the edge of the world within five minutes of starting the video, um, we'll come back here. We know where we're going then, don't we? Okay, here we go. Uh, map. Just make sure I'm not about to get ganked. Okay, here we go. So, we need to head further south, don't we? Uh, there may be a road out of town, uh, or... I don't know. How far south does this thing go? Oh, to about there then. Well, it looks like we're going to have a fairish old way to go, actually, today. But we are, I think it's fair to say, adequately, um, you know, uh, equipped here. We've got more than a stack of feathers. I don't need those. Uh, we've got tons of meat. We've got 41 pieces of meat. This in stark contrast to a game uh, I've just started um well, not only the new Fi Freddy Fire series, which is uh, interesting, uh, and we're starving to death the whole time, uh, but also a new game that I've started myself, which is a modded one, of which more later, certainly when we finish this series and when we get to the edge of the world, that's pretty much end of this series. Um, yeah, we're going to start a modded series, but I will do a separate announcement for that, guys. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that announcement. By the time I've released this video, that announcement may already have come out, for all I know. That was completely automatic. I never even thought about that. What on earth? I did not need that meat, but hey. And I certainly didn't need the animal fat. That was totally automatic, guys. Oh, look, a deer. I'll slaughter it. Oh, my goodness. This is what you get for playing several saves concurrently. Okay, we need a road going south. We don't necessarily have to follow a road. We could just go across country. But I don't know. I kind of like to follow roads because then I don't need to worry too much about what I'm... I'm not as likely to fall down a cave, etc. Um... Uh, do you know what? We may as well get our kill count up a little bit. I don't actually need to raid these guys for things. Although I will have a look at Nancy just because, no, she doesn't have anything interesting. If she had any medical supplies, that would be quite good. Okay, so we could just go straight across there, couldn't we? But I am thinking that we should reach the edge of the map uh, within the conf confines of today's episode without too much difficulty at all. So, uh... Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, my kill count at the moment is fairly respectable. 2,419. Would be nice to have a a, a, a clear uh, sort of 250 by the time we finish, wouldn't it? That would be nice, but... Uh, hey, especially with the one shotting that I'm able to do now. So I will just make a, a point of uh, killing as many Zeds along the way as I can. I've got plenty of arrows too. Oh, these sights don't help me very much. Mind you, I do have a crosshair, don't I? I do have a crosshair. I don't know. I don't need to loot her. I do have a crosshair, but I don't think that's always been the case. Sometimes the it's been there, sometimes it's not been there. So, and Maybe it's a compound bow thing, actually. I have not spent very much time using the compound bow. always takes me so long to gather the parts. I usually have a compound bow right from the get-go, and it's usually so rubbish. I should probably just use them even when they're rubbish. Look at all these cars canted on their sides. I've seen a lot of that recently. I'm not quite sure why that is. There's been an update, maybe, that uh, 
causes them, that allows them to, uh, that has been an update, I know there's been an update, that allows, but, um, that allows uh, our, allows cars to spawn in um, on slopes. Unfortunately, they seem to think that it's, obli they're obliged to spawn on a slope, even when there isn't a slope there. So uh, that seems to be a little bit, a little bit uh, glitchy at the moment. I'm going to one-shot as many of these guys as I can. Yay! Because it's deeply, deeply satisfying. What's our kill count at now? 2426. Yeah, we should be able to do this. No problem. Journey to the edge of the world, killing everything in sight, including deer I didn't need. Sorry about that, Rudolph. Morning, Steve. See ya in the next life. Or perhaps not, given he's already dead. Okay. Hatchet, job, still best for uh, for crawlers. I still find it very difficult to hit those unless I get down on the floor at the same level as them. But if you do that, you're kind of more likely to get them hitting you in the legs. Oh my word, are you going to take three steel arrows, really? Okay, we're going to just cut cr straight across country now because, um, well, because there's you know, the road doesn't go that way. It goes... Very, that's that's a very eccentric angle for the road to go off at. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it, for it to suddenly zip over there? And I don't need feathers either. Stop looting. This is very um, very strange to me to to not loot stuff. It just goes completely against the grain. Yay! See, in this game, the interesting thing is that once you have if sufficient tools, you can very easily just go nomadic without a base at all so once you've got a few levels behind you you've got some decent gear you can go nomadic for longish periods if you want except that of course every seven days you do have a horde to deal with so every seven days you do have oh that was rubbish you do have a horde uh you have to hole up somewhere against a horde which in later levels and later game can be interesting um so, it's you, isn't it? He's very difficult to hit in the head. Let's keep on on our compass heading here. Got a path there and a house. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so when you get the special irradiated zombies and stuff turning up, then hordes can be interesting because an unupgraded prefab, they'll just chew through it like it's paper, even on a higher durability setting. Um... And then, of course, from time to time, one does have to, you know, you do have to upgrade your armor and things like that as well, or rather repair your armor. So you do need to uh, have access to workbenches and things. And since we now need to place down land clay blocks in order to be able to pick up our workbenches again, that's not as easy as it used to be either. Uh, you can't necessarily guarantee that traders even will have access, will give you access to working forges and workbenches and things. So, uh so yeah, kind of difficult. Unless you carry everything with you to repair your armor and things with as well. Uh, okay, two, four, three, five, and no more Zeds. Well, there's one over there. I am gonna, I'm gonna get my two, two thousand five hundred kill count, and it won't kill me. Oh my word, what's that? I don't know. I think I had something slightly... Oh, wow, look at that. I think that's my bowstring, but I'm not sure. I hadn't noticed that before in the corner of my eye. All right, carry on on a heading. Again, apologies for the shadows flickering like this. I couldn't live uh, this far out on the map. I always head for the centre of the map because of this, because it kind of hurts my face. I don't like them at all. Uh, the, uh, the flickering, the way that... Um, anything that you're holding in your hand kind of flickers as well. I don't know why that should be, but it's been that way since procedurally generated worlds came out, as far as I remember. And uh, until until that is resolved, uh, if it can be resolved, I intend on yeah continuing to build somewhere in here in the middle of the map. The other thing, of course, the advantage in the solo player uh, single player game is if you go if you go to the middle of the edges of the map. I think this might be the edge, folks. I think this might be it. If you get to go to the edge of the map, uh, the middle of the map, you've got more ready access to uh, all of the sides. Yeah, it is. Look there, it's the red zone. We won't go into it because you know that would hurt. But, hmm, 
The dead zone used to look a little bit more populated than that. It used to look like some serious wasteland, but now it kind of just looks like, you know, uh, totally and utterly barren. Uh, I kind of wish I had a hazmat suit just to see if... Ow! 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 Yeah, it hurts. So I don't think a hazmat suit would make any difference there. Not really. Because um, basically, yeah, the red zone goes on a little way and then there is no more world whatsoever. So uh, so there we go, folks. There we have it. We have got the end of the world and it wasn't so very far from our point of origin. So perhaps we should go back to that Vic Garrison Pawn and Loan because it, as I say, is a pretty good dungeon troll. Uh, I feel like I should do a little dance here at the edge of the world. Da, 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 da. But I can't really. So <laughs> so there you go. Let off some fireworks. Only we haven't got those either. There is such a thing as a flare, but I don't think I've... Or is there? That might just be a modded thing, actually. Uh, pipe bombs? No, I'd probably blow myself up. I'm... Terrible with pipe bombs, actually. Uh, so, I think I'm going to concentrate now on getting my kill count up. Because um, this is going to be the last episode of Alpha 16. And then, yeah, I think that is... Look at that. That That is that mad, mad wiggling bowstring. It's just cr crazy. Um, but yeah, this was the, the, the final episode of Alpha 16. And then we're waiting for Alpha 17. But we're not just going to wait for Alpha 17. That was rubbish. We are going to uh, start a new modded series straight between the eyes um for which as i say the announcement has already probably come out by this point by the time i've released this video um oh, oh no you don't so i'm really looking forward to that because it does provide really quite a good challenge um the war on the walkers mod um which i know some youtubers have already done a uh, series on or are doing series on it's a really good o overhaul mod uh, i had to play test it to make sure it was going to work because when you're doing an overhaul mod well they're changing a heck of a lot of things in game and you've got to be sure that uh it's not going to lag out too badly or cause you any sort of uh grief one way or another and the other thing which i've mostly had problems with to be honest is being able to switch between vanilla and modded which i still have to do um because obviously uh the friendly fire series that we're running is in vanilla so i do need to be able to to make sure that that's gonna happen without any issues and i have had a few issues recently so still teething problems with that. oh that was terrible what was that get him in the face oh my word i think it's time for the machete again isn't it yeah it must be it must be lost my mojo completely there just threw three arrows away what a fool. So, yeah, we may as well celebrate the end of the series by going and checking out this Vic Garrison's Pawn Alone. And I will try not to get myself blown up. I'm fairly sure there's some mines in there. It's an old habit looking in tree stumps um, as well. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good dungeon crawl. The sensible thing, of course, would be to set up a bedroll somewhere in the vicinity. And I might just do that as well. Uh, although, no, I don't want to... I've got some quite nice loot here and i don't want to leave it behind do i so i will i'll set up a bedroll possibly on the roof next to our campfire um where we were before and uh yeah then we should be able to get our kill count up to two uh two yeah we're nearly there now uh, you have disgusting manners hank really and utterly disgusting one of the things that's interesting about uh the war of the walkers mod actually is the way that you can see what the zombies are actually because the zombies have been um, changed and edited. You can actually see what the devs have called the zombies. So you can see they call them Zombie Joe, Zombie Mo, and that kind of thing, uh, which is not what I call them. So that's a bit jarring for me. <laughs> I've already named them something else. And Zombie Steve is actually not the one I call Steve. It's a different one. Uh, so uh, so yeah, but yeah, thorough overhaul. But as I say, uh, watch the up the, the um. Announcement for that, uh, because I will be giving you a bit of detail about the mod and how it works. Oh, Wolfie. Okay. Wow, he's down. Okay, well, I may as well do this, because I've already got some meat on me. There we go. I don't need that, though. Ooh, that's not the right key. That's the right key. There we go. All right, where is our little arrow? This way. And there is the one I call Zombie Steve. Bye-bye. And here we are, finally back at Vic Garrison's Port and Loan. It's nearly half past uh, two in the afternoon, so uh, and I'm mildly out of breath because uh, that was actually quite a long way to run. So I'm down to nine ninety of my two hundred twenty-five stamina. So we're going to go and put our bedroll on the roof there, um, and possibly 
put... Well, there's not much point putting stuff down in a chest because I'm never going to come this way far out from the base and... Oh, do you know what? I forgot. We have to do this, yeah? We have to do that. Oh, go on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. All right, where's my bedroll? Here it is. Yeah, there's no point in my picking anything up there. We're just doing this for the entertainment value. There we go. So we have a... Oh, my gosh. Not there. Yeah, we know there's a load of zombies in there. So, we're probably going to meet them in close quarters. Let's not worry about the stealth. I don't know why I'm doing that. There's no point looting. We're just doing this for the killing. I've got two, four, four, nine. I only need one more zombie. Some interesting toilets they have in here. Okay. I'll just have to be prepared for the fact that... Oh, you're going to be my... You see, I'm behind him and he's just attacking a door. Because that's what zombies do. They attack doors. Oh, sunshine, come on. Except the machete is your fate. Alright, now I kind of want to uh, nerd pole up into the ceiling in actual fact. I think that would be a cool thing to do. What the heck is that? What the heck was that noise? It was quite bizarre, whatever it was. Okay, switch to the bow. And then from here, I can actually get a fairly... Oh, yeah, obviously some of these are going to collapse. Not all of them. Hunted, yeah. Ah, uh, that one is... Oh, hell. <laughs> that was pretty smooth. I had no idea I could even do that. And she's clipping through a pipe, which is a bit unfair because I can't actually hit her. I'm not sure if she can move. I can hit her in the leg. There we go. And then maybe I can hit her in the head when she moves. Okay, I have no idea. I can take out her leg. I have no idea. Maybe I just have to leave her there, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure she's really seen me anyway. There's some zombies down there. Oh, there's one running here. Ah! There's a feral zed there. Well, if I could get her without her... Okay, let's see if we can hop. Oh my gosh, there's a big hop there as well. Yeah, I don't really want to be deal dealing with him up here. Not if I can help it. But she's a bit manic, isn't she? Oh, I'm down here again. This is not good. This is not what I wanted to do. Not where I want to be, really. Gotcha. Yeah. Now this guy is going to be a little more difficult because I've got to hit him lots of times in rapid succession. And this is where I wish I had a gun. I don't think we've even found a gun on us. So, on all this time... I am hitting him a lot. Oh, yeah, there he goes, and he's taken out a large portion of the big garrison for alone, which is not ideal. But there we are. Okay, now, I have to say, I don't know this prefab that well, folks. I don't know it that well. I know bits of it collapse a lot, and it's very inconvenient. But I don't know it that well, therefore, I don't actually know for sure where it's going to collapse under my feet. I don't actually know for sure uh, where the really, really good loot is. But we've got a gun safe here, and I'm not afraid to break into it. I am slightly afraid of what other Zeds we might find over here, but we have killed an irradiated cop, which is pretty good going, and we have broken that 2,451 thing that we had going on, which is pretty good as well. And all that is pants. So that is not what I would call pr particularly good loot. Um, now, somebody did give me a fairly good tip, and at this point, I can't remember who it was, but certainly somebody in the comments said, if you go around tapping the floor with your axe, you can tell which bits of the floor in front of you are going to collapse, because you'll collapse them with one single tap. And that is, of course, the tiny truth. Um, but what I might do is just get down from here. Let's see 
anybody there's obviously somebody having a massive oh there we go we've got a feral there a feral uh a feral steve so we're gonna have fun hitting him but we may as well take that biker out while we're up here or not Yeah, that's an electricity trap. That's what it is. Okay, I've not seen one of those before. I knew there were traps in here. I couldn't remember exactly what they were. If I could kite them through that, I'd be laughing. But we seem to have some sort of... Uh... We seem to have some sort of horde turning up now, which is... Uh... Far for the course, I suppose. Now I can shoot through that. There we go. I can't shoot through that, unfortunately. They don't know I'm actually here. Uh, but there's obviously somebody over there. So look at that. That is awesome. That electricity trap is awesome. Oh, I'm going to have to make myself one of those at some point. We're going to have to make use of that. That would be cool. Okay, well, we've already got our kill count up as high as we really need it to be at this point. But I've got an entire horde of people. Uh, dead people. Zombies coming through here. Let's just see. Got any beer? No. There's some more traps over. These zombies are actually showing me where the traps are, which is quite helpful of them, actually. So I'm just going to kind of sneak along behind them. There's obviously one over there somewhere, because a load of Zeds have just gone through it. There's all these bits of roof tile on the floor. Yeah, look at them all having a party at the back of the store there. Guns. Hmm. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Now, what I'm thinking is, maybe the best way of doing this, though I don't know for sure, of course, is to go over the top, but I may be wrong. I'm just avoiding the ones that are blank there. Just got an inkling. Yeah, of course, they're going to, like, I can't just tap them with my axe. I'm, I'm going to completely destroy them, aren't I? Oh, there we go. And I'm stuck in here now. They're all beating on a door, but not this one. Look at that! Zombie stack party! Where do you all think you're going anyway, fools? Okay, so they're obviously going to find me now. If I start hammering away at things. So let's just get up to this kind of level. And search these gun crates, because I assume that's what they are. Yes, they are. Nothing in that one. There's only two of them anyway. I know there's some pretty sweet loot in here. AK-47 receiver. I will take that. In fact, do I have an AK-47? Yes, I do. Let's just see. I've got... I have not got a receiver in it. Nice. There we go. We do now. Fabulous. I think that's it for in here. So, I'll just take these wood frames. And then, judging by the time, we should probably... I just knotted that and that broke it. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, there we go. If we run over them, we should be alright, I think. Yeah, it's getting to evening time, isn't it? But I may just have to go in a little bit Rambo here. I haven't got the... Oh, holy crap, that was foolish. <laughs> Especially since there's some running ones, I think. Okay, let's just have this. Oh, yep. Die! There we go. There we are. Get the kill count up a little bit higher before we finish this series. Yay! Oh, no! Feral! Die, Edgar, die! And I have to run before I can... Oh, he's making me bleed out too. Not cool, Edgar. Not cool. And he's not dead yet. Now he is. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, my God, there's another one! Die! Oh, my goodness. Those Ed feral Edgars, seriously, have some bad... No, I'm not bleeding out anymore. I've seriously got some bad nails going on. I hope no more of you guys are feral, seriously. Oh, 
She's down. He's staying down. Because I've been spent the night on this door tonight. And I'm a bit annoyed that they've taken out the bookshelves. Because, yeah, that was stupid on my part. That was entirely my fault. Okay, move. Uh, and I don't want this lot making a flipping racket. I spent one night too many like that already. So we don't really want another night with a load of zombies smashing the place up. Although heaven knows, we'll probably get it anyway, because let's face it, um, a horde will turn up. That was just a random horde, and I dare say another random horde will also turn up. So, Okay, right, we need to place that there. I can't even get on it. Go on. There. There we go. And we're back to our bedroll. So, whew, there we go. So, we have got... I think everything that we need to make ourselves nice and healed up. I don't actually need to eat as much food as I, as my backpack contains. There, we're at 100% now. But I do have some first aid kits, so I will use one of those. Our arm has taken a little bit of a pounding, of course. Uh, I'm not sure if that will even take me all the way up, but we have other medical supplies too. We are not exactly lacking here. I've got some loot that I'm going to take back. Uh, to base as well myself as I say what I will probably do is I will probably carry on uh, playing this just for my own amusement just because we've got so far it's kind of a shame not to make use of the facilities we've got um, having finally completed the base and things um, until Alpha 17 comes out and then I will just have to archive it just like I have done with so many of our other previous bases. So guys, I am hope I hope that you have enjoyed this series and I hope that you'll stick with me for uh, Alpha 17. But as I say before then, we've got our modded War of the Walkers mod, um, War of the Walkers um, game series, which will continue up until Alpha 17. I don't honestly know quite how long that is going to be. We will have to find out and see how we do with that. Um, so I hope you'll join me for that. And I'm also considering the possibility of doing a sort of a retrospective as well, uh, going all the way back to the earliest um, that I can, really. Uh, not necessarily any game saves of mine, but the sort of, you know, the earlier sort of beta. I think it goes back to Alpha 8 point something. So uh, that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting experiment. Okay, guys. So don't forget to let me know if you liked this video and indeed this series by hitting the like button. And feel free to leave me a comment. Do join me next week when we start playing War of the Walkers. And until then, keep gaming, keep surviving. And stay happy. Bye-bye for now.